I think that we should explain what noisum means. To me, it sounds very noisy, but yeah, we're going to explain that. Let me get the definition of that. Noisum pestilence. How is it spelled in the... Um, N-O-I-S-O-M-E. Oh, yes, I got it. S-O-M-E. Okay, so that means a harmful, offensive to the sense, and especially to the sense of the smell. It's given this uh, a noisome garbage, something highly obnoxious. Mm. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Hmm. Read that one more time. Um, it's nauseous, harmful, uh, offensive to the sense, and especially to the sense of smell. Nausea, garbage, highly obnoxious. Hmm. And it, then it goes on to saying that um, in the scripture of 91 Psalm, it goes with that. Surely he shall deliver you from it. So anything that's toxic, anything that's, right. that's harmful. That's right. Um, Toxic places. Yes. Toxic people. Mm -hmm. Toxic relationships. Yes, offensive. We have a lot of that going on now. People are being very offended mm. by word or deed. Yeah. So a lot of that is, you know, society now. We have a lot of movements that are going on because of offense. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if we go back to, if we dwell in that secret place, we don't have to worry about these offenses. That's right. Because the Bible says the offenses will come, but what? He, they won't, he won't allow them. That's right. You know what I mean? To take us over. They'll come. Yeah, they'll try. But who they come from. <laughs> they'll try. Mm -hmm. But you're covered in that. Yes. That spiritual, supernatural blanket. Yes. So you're protected. People are very obnoxious. We see that now. A lot of that going on. Yeah. Very noisy. Yeah. A lot of garbage. Yeah. You know? Nothing that's fruitful. That's what I look at. When garbage, what well, garbage stinks, right? Yeah. And it stinks up the whole house if it's left yeah. there, right? <laughs> Without being taken out. Right. So... Garbage stinks. It just stinks. That's it. There's no other word for it. It stinks. That's why it's called garbage. <laughs> garbage does stink. This is true. Yes, it does. <laughs> and you don't want that in your dwelling place too long. That's right. You need to take the trash out. Out. Take it out. Get rid of it. What does that mean? Go pray. Yes. Go exactly. spend time with God. Yes. If you... And I, I think I mentioned this before to you guys. I I keep my language clean. That, I mean, that's just where I'm at in my walk. And if you are somebody that's newer and you struggle with that, that's okay. You will mature like we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. But if I encounter someone or go through something and I start to even have those thoughts of something that's foul, I'm like, hold on. Well, wait, wait, wait. Something's wrong. Yes. Something's wrong. I don't mm -hmm. think like that. Right. What do I do? I have a conversation with God. Okay, God, I don't know what it is that's in me or who I encountered or, you know, what's yes. coming at me. What is ill that's going on? But Lord, please take it away. Please remove right. it from me. And it's gone. Right. Exactly. Taking out the garbage. That's a, a perfect example mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about the snare of the fowler. That's something that... I want folks to, to really understand if they're not sure what that means. Sure. I mean, um, the definition of that. So the snare of the fowler. So in Psalms uh, uh, 124, 5 through 7, it says that hmm, the fowler is, it says, praise the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. 
So to me, what would you think the snare would be, Chris? It's always like a tear to me. It's like a, you know, something that's, um, this is talking about a fowler's, a fowler's snare in Psalms 124 and 7. So the way it explains it, we've escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. Mm. Mm. Snare, snare of the fowler. I think of like uh, maybe a real uh, 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 earthly example, like a bird. Trapped. Something in the sky. Mm -hmm. You know, looking down at prey for something to, to try to attack. And mm -hmm. swoops down to come in for the attack. Exactly. But right before he gets it, we're gone. Right. That's exactly right. That's that's what I think mm -hmm. of. That's the verb catch. A yeah. bird or mammal. Oh, no. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a there snare. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you you, you guys are hearing it and, and it may a sound trap. Like a trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like we a escape trap. the trap. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because yep. that's what he tries to do. Yep. Exactly. He tries to trap us. He tries to trap us. Exactly. And think Get that us. there's no other way. Right. Get us all entangled in the yoke of bondage. That's and then right. We're feeling, you know, and you can hear even from a worldly aspect, people say sometimes, oh, I feel so trapped. Like, I can't get out of this. You know, there's mm -hmm. no way out. Mm -hmm. And then they commit, most of them commit suicide because they don't see another way out. Mm -hmm. They feel trapped. They feel, they feel like they're just closed in. Yeah. There's no way to get out of this thing, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. Being trapped in, in, in bondage. Mm hmm that that's like a whole series in itself yes <laughs> yes you know it, it it the thing is if you don't know you're in bondage you remain in bondage exactly yeah um and when you come to the realization that you are in bondage boy oh boy does he try to keep you in bondage mm -hmm. because now you realize wait I don't have to live like this. Mm -hmm. I don't have to think these thoughts. These are not my thoughts. Um, that's when you, you, you might feel. So I want to encourage anybody that's new to faith. If you feel like, man, I, I gave my life to Christ and everything seems worse. Everything seems harder. Um, that's normal. Right. Because now you have entered a spiritual realm where you understand, okay, I'm above all these things. Right. right? And so even more so, you will feel a force trying to bog you down and, and keep you trapped. Mm -hmm. um, but you have the power and capacity through Jesus Christ to overcome all those things. Um, but I, I, I just, I think it's so crazy. Like if you, if you, if you don't know, you're just stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're just stuck there. And I'm thinking about... Um, so you, I don't even think that you know this. So I write music, oh. and she's like, what? <laughs> we'll just share what? the news right on the podcast. What? Why not? <laughs> um, and I'm thinking of a, 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 a lyric, a part of this song, and it says, how can I describe what is eternal mm -hmm. to the carnal-minded creature that is blinded by infernal burning flesh? Wow. That's a part of the lyrics. And that's I love that. That's what I thought of as soon as I, I mentioned, man, when you're stuck in bondage, you don't even know. Yes. And and so for the listeners that are believers and I think that I, I was talking about this with someone the other day, you're like, How do I or we were doing a Bible study and it's like, Okay, if I meet a stranger, how would you introduce them to Christ? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you say to someone that knows nothing, that has no concept, no understanding? Where do you start? And so that same lyric is like, how can I describe eternal to someone that's right. carnal minded? Exactly. Right? Because yeah. for them, it's like, right. you're just talking out the side of your mouth, literally. Right. They're exactly. just like, what? What are you talking about? Right. It's foreign to them. Yeah. 
because they can't comprehend That's the right. things of the spirit. That's right. You know. That's right. Yeah, it's yeah. just like you would go in a foreign country, and they will be speaking. Mm -hmm. You don't know that language. Exactly right. So. You're in bondage. That's a perfect because you, example. Because you can't do anything. Because mm -hmm. you don't know, you don't speak the language. That's right. That's right. And I, I can't remember the scripture where he talks about, um, well, this is something even Jesus says. He, he says, you don't understand these earthly things I explained to you. How can I tell you about heavenly things? Mm -hmm. It's the, the same concept. Yep, exactly. Um lost my train of thought. Well, to be earthly minded is carnal. And to be heavenly minded is, to be spiritually minded is heavenly, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Have you had an experience where you encountered a stranger and maybe you didn't say, hey, do you follow Jesus? But what, what did you do to just kind of be a light? Do you have any examples of that? Yeah. I love those kind of stories. Um, just letting your light shine. 